what's up ig fam i am back again with another tutorial on how to do a quick weave now if y'all know what quick weave is um good for you but if you don't this is a process of it and everybody does their quick weaves differently i'm just demonstrating how i do mine um so she has short hair so i basically just molded her down brushed her hair down and then sprayed it with some got to be and then uh put her stocking cap on top poke the holes in the side so that the stocking cap can stay down. And then now, as you can see, I'm going over it with the clear solution, which is a protective solution to keep your hair protected from the glue. Then I'm placing her under the dryer for about 20 minutes. And this is the hair that I'll be using today, which is a Juvesa. You can find this at a lot of different beauty supply stores. Usually it's buy one, get one free. The price is $29.99 for 12 inch and a color one. Um, which is a great deal, I think. Uh, it lasts long enough for the hairstyle, and even if you wash it, you can get another month wear out of it. Now you guys can see I cut off the axis cap, and I'm just measuring each width or track to her head to make sure that I am placing it right. Um, I started off with a horseshoe in the front, and then once I get to the back part, I start to double the track, as you guys can see, and I just work my way up towards the top of her head. As I'm pressing down, I make sure that I use a blow dryer just to ensure that the glue is completely dry and uh, not loose at all. I'm working my way back up towards the top of her head. And as you guys can see, the tracks are just basically falling into place. And I have a little trick that I use with the tracks and the flat iron. I kind of just press the flat iron on the tracks just to loosen it up or soften it up some. Because sometimes it could be like hard. Um, so I like doing it. It's just like a little hack that I like to do. Now you can see I'm at the very top of her head and I'm just cutting off the rest of the stocking cap that's not needed and I'm just closing off her hair or her tracks. <laughs> I can't talk. I'm closing it off, finishing off at the top and I have her leave out already clipped out to the side. Then I'm going to go into combing it out, making sure I get all the tangles out and parting her hair down the middle, making sure she, it is straight down the middle, okay? Now I'm going in with my clippers. I usually do this as first, first for my guideline and I go all the way around her head uh, in a zero degree cut. And it gives me a good start, you know, as to how short I want the hair to be. Then as you guys can see, I'm taking it up higher in the back and um, I'm just working my way around guys. It's real simple. You have your clients turn their heads to the left, have them turn to the right. Then after I cut the hair, I always go in and I point cut to loosen it up because sometimes when you use a clipper, it can make the hair very chunky and a, have a stiff flow. And I like my client's hair to flow, honey, okay? Like when you turn to the side, your head turns to the side with you. It falls to the side, not a stiff fall, but you know, a flowy fall. So now I'm just going through and I'm just flat ironing it section by section. You guys know how to do this part already. I like laying her baby hairs as well, making sure I don't put too much heat on her natural leave out, just going over it maybe like once or twice. Now we're all done. And you guys can see how precise the cut is. It's very beautiful and she loved it. It was her birthday. I got her birthday ready. Aha. Look at it. Okay, so she 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 trying to get into it. She feeling it, but it was super cute. It fit her face. We wanted something that didn't sit on top of her shoulders. We wanted it to glide right on top. So I'm gonna turn her to the to the side so you can see that cut. Get into that cut. Turn it to the other side. Get into that cut. Okay. And then we're gonna do a 360. Bring it around, bring it around, and boom. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think.